So once you're on site and the trailer's leveled and the jacks are down, you'll want to start hooking up your utilities. You've got 30 amp twist lock cords stored in here. We give you a 25 foot 10 gauge cord. It has a 30 amp twist lock end. It also has a standard outlet adapter so you can plug it into a normal outlet. It is a 30 amp cord, but it's not gonna draw more than 20 amps per cord. This trailer has four breaker boxes, so there's four cords stored in there. That is lockable. This is where you connect the cords. There's four cords for four breakers, one, two, three, four outlets. Once the cords are plugged in, you drop them through the bottom so they're out of the way, out of people's foot traffic, and have a neater looking trailer. The water connections are right here. And each of these doors has a latch so you can hold it open so it won't bump your head when you're inside there. The water connections here, uh, you put a three quarter garden hose connection to it. There is a pressure regulator on it that reduces the water pressure down to about 40 pounds or so. Uh, normally you want 40 to 60 pounds of water pressure coming in on the trailer. Uh, if you have 100, if you're at a golf course or something like that, you need to cut it back before you plug it into the trailer. Uh, otherwise, it'll overpower some of your fixtures inside the trailer. You also have a sight gauge here so you can see how high your waste tank is. And then inside your service area, there are one, two, three, four breaker boxes for each of the cords that you have. Each breaker has its own specific function. The first one, men's AC or men's heater. Uh, second one, water heater converter, which is converts 110 power down to 12 volt. The third one is a women's AC or heater. You don't want to run the both at the same time. The fourth one is a service area heater. For a trailer like this, it has an Arctic package and a waste tank heater. For a trailer like this, it has an Arctic package. Um, most of the time, you'll have a water connection at the site you're at. Um, if you don't, you can use our onboard 200 gallon fresh water tank. And we do ask that you don't transport that full of water. Uh, you would have to fill it on site. So normally, in normal operation, you'll use the trailer, um, two air conditioners if it's warm, and one water heater. So that'd be three 20 amp services. If you don't need a water heater you, and you just want air conditioners, it'd be two 20 amp services. If you don't need air conditioners or water heater, you can actually run the trailer from one 20 amp service. So it's very efficient, um, a very efficient trailer to operate. Uh, as far as the water connections, if you connect down here, there's a pressure gauge right here so you can see how much incoming water pressure you have. And as we mentioned, there is a regulator on there so it should cut it back to 40, you know, 40 to 50 pounds or so. The water comes in the trailer. There's a filter here, which you can change. If you ever have to lose, or if you ever start to lose pressure, uh, check your filter and make sure it's clean. It is cleanable, so you can go in and clean it out. Once in here, you have a choice. You can send the water that comes in the trailer up into the fresh water tank, or if you shut that valve off and open up the other valve, it'll actually go into the trailer, which is how you operate most of the time. Uh, there are two pumps in here, a uh, master pump and a secondary pump. You turn them both on. They're 12 volt, so they run through the converter. Um, if it needs one water pump for water pressure, it'll use one. If it needs two for water pressure, if there's a lot of use, then they'll both run at the same time. So you don't need to know uh, which one is operating. It's simply when there's a drop in pressure, either one or two will kick on. Uh, this is the 12 volt panel. Inside here are fuses. Twelve volt fuses, just like you have in your car. Each one is labeled for what function it has. So, say you lose your lights in the front stall, uh, you would want to check here and make sure your fuse is okay. There are extra fuses in there, should you need one on site. This is our AM, FM, Bluetooth Entertainment Center. Uh, this unit runs uh, AM, FM radio and also has a Bluetooth function, so you can uh, play music from your phone or from the the event planner's phone into the stereo. The code is 0000, so when that shows up on your phone to pair, simply type in 0000 and your phone will be paired to the entertainment system. Uh, we have men's lights, women's lights, exterior lights, those are your porch lights, and your service area light, which is up above uh, so you can see at nighttime. Pumps and your vent fans. And there's one for each side on your vent fans. The red switch is a battery disconnect switch that allows power to go to or from the battery if you're setting up at night and you don't have power you can turn this on turn your lights on and all your lights will run from the battery power 
The lights are all LED lights, so they don't draw much power. And you can actually, the trailer can actually function free from power for a limited amount of time uh, just off the batteries. Say you lose power at an event, you'll still have lights, you'll still have water. You won't have air conditioning or heat or hot water, but you'll have all your basic functions. How long that lasts depends on uh, the usage on site. If it's a few people using it occasionally, you may have a, a day out of your battery power. If it's 200 people using it constantly, you might have an hour, hour and a half from your battery power. Uh, this unit has a service area heater because it's an Arctic package. So we have breaker number four for our service area heater. We also have waste tank heaters on, on that breaker. So functioning in the middle of winter, we have forced air heat inside the cabins. We have forced air heat inside the service area. We have an insulated waste tank and a heated waste tank. You know, while I'm on the waste tank, uh, we never want you to transport the restroom trailer with waste in the waste tank, uh, just for safety reasons. And that pretty much wraps up our service area.